Hey everyone, this is your committed and passionate tennis coach, Jeff Salzenstein. Now, I've got a question for you. Do you ever wonder how you can master your serve technique so you can serve better than ever? Well, I've got a complete A to Z breakdown of one player's serve that I want to show you today. It's a video analysis that is going to really help you a lot. And I want you to pay particular attention to a common problem that most servers have, and that's with the first move. So let's get to that video analysis right now. Let's take a look at the serve here, and we're going to start to break it down. So first thing I notice, and it's just a little thing, but I would consider maybe having this racket more relaxed here so it's not pointing up so high. Just a little thing. Uh, if you look at mine, um, I come up. So I, I do bring it up a little bit, but it doesn't seem that it's angled as much. So my wrist isn't angled up. So you might have just a little more relaxed wrist here. Again, a minor thing that may not make a difference, but cause especially when you relax it right here. So one thing I notice is it looks like a lot of weight is on the back foot, but this foot actually still looks weighted. So, you know, if you look at like Sampras or my serve in particular, when I go start to shift back, all of my weight gets on this back foot. I sit into this hip and you can see this toe come up. So you might want to get that. So you actually see, if you look here, you actually start to toss the ball and your heel actually comes up right here. So I'd like to see it more be, uh, just the, the, the heel is down and the toe comes up a little bit. If you look at Safin, Rios, uh, Sampras, myself, we, we have the toe up where we move the foot more. So you actually might be losing a little rhythm there when you, right here, when you bring this toe up. So maybe you can model this more where you get on this back leg and then you just feel the, the heel, uh, the heel on the ground and the toe up. You can try it and see if it works. Now, your motion. So right here, when you're about to toss the ball, you actually release the ball pretty late in the motion. Uh, it starts to release like right about eye level, maybe just above eye level. But look at where your racket is. That's that's the big issue with your serve. It's causing issues for you. So if you look at my motion, um, let's let's take it forward a little bit. So when I release the ball, sorry, it's in slow motion here. When I release the ball, you'll see, actually, I'm starting to release the ball about eye level, about the same as you. But look at where my racket is. It's at waist height. And we don't see that with your motion. So that's the biggest thing that I would change. And from the tennis serve secrets, I would do the three quarters drill where basically the racket is down by the knee as you toss the ball. And it should look, this is what it should look more like. Or like Federer or Sampras, the racket is even lower down here. So that's that's an issue, okay? And then you also see that the strings and the tip of the racket are pointing towards the back fence more, whereas look at the strings and the tip of the racket here, towards the side fence, towards the net. That keeps the racket face closed longer. So you kind of, you actually have, a, not a hitch, but you bring it here, and then you actually bring it back and get into a pretty good position right there. So that's actually a pretty good position. So maybe you're making this, you know, you're making this work for you because that actually looks pretty good. Um, if I come and I look at my motion and we compare it, mine's sm smoother and steadier right now. But I mean, that looks pretty good. You know, very similar actually. You actually have a higher tossing arm, so so you know that's good. I like it. Uh, but I would ideally, I mean, everyone has different motions. I'd like to see you just keep the racket down in this position. Don't move it so much. Keep it right here and then bring it up and get it straight into your trophy. Don't add this extra, almost like you have like an extra circle or an extra loop in your motion. So right here you look pretty good. And then, and then you go to hit the ball and you're working on kick serve, okay? So what I would do, I don't think I hit a kick on this one. It's a flatter serve. Yeah, it's different. 
But what, what I think, if you're working on your kick serve, you, need, you actually want the toss to be a little, even a little more left possibly, okay? So, and then I would say it almost looks like, I don't know what's happening with your kick, but, okay. So one thing I would say is like this arm right here, it's still straight and you should try to get up and over it and feel this elbow bend more. So I know I'm not hitting a second serve here, but you can see like right there, my arm is bending and your arm is still really straight. So you might want to try that to see if that helps you. Um, let's look at another one. I think you're going to go side view here. See if there's a back view, a oh, rear view. Okay. We'll see this serve and see if I notice anything. So I'd work on this front foot. Okay, we talked about that. I'd work on smoothing out the motion with the three quarters. And then you're trying to hit a kick. And that toss has to be more to the left for kick. And that will actually make your serve kick more. So I'd like to see that toss a little more above your head. And um, almost towards the left shoulder more. So that's what I think you should work on. Front foot, smooth out the motion delay the the raising of the racket when you smooth out the motion and then get the toss more to the left finally bend the elbow work on work on one of these concepts at a time don't try to do it all at the same time okay hope that helps hey there thanks for watching this video lesson now if you got a lot of value out of this lesson and if you're serious about taking your serve to the next level go ahead and click the link in the description below where you can get more free serve tips but before you do so, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can get updated on all the latest YouTube videos that we're going to be releasing. Plus, you can check out all the valuable content that I already have on my channel. Thanks again for watching and make it a great day out on the course.